just got buried. My wife had to climb out the window. There was snow all the way up to the side of the door. Somebody's house over there on fire. It's got to be a house fire. All right. So, responsible for those steps back there off to the right. Kettler's going to jump out, shovel off the steps, and I am here to clear these sidewalks. I don't know if you can see right along the building here. City owns this. This is kind of a parking lot straight in front of me here and then all the way back. So I'm gonna push what I can of this with the truck into the pile that the city pushes to here. Okay, so we're over here. We are clearing these sidewalks with two Toro power clears. That's what we use. And we gotta run all the way down this. So quite a bit of snow blowing. Snow is pretty light and fluffy, so it ain't gonna be too bad. All right, I'm gonna not really show you much of this. If you wanna see me do this, you can. You can go back a few videos and you'll find them. All right, let's get her done. All right, so here's the sidewalk. I have a feeling this thing's gonna be full of snow. We got a north wind here. Snow's gonna be blowing off the rooftops. That's gonna stink. I'm gonna have to probably come back tomorrow. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Wife's finishing up down here. Did a pretty dang good job, I'd say. We're gonna get in the, in the truck and then we're gonna go plow out a daycare. So we'll see you over there.
guys, so we just, we're gonna start our like residential. We have a few residentials now that we're done with our commercial, so we're gonna run those really quick here. You guys might recognize this one. Let's stick the camera forward. Woo wee. I'm worried we're gonna start to run out of room in these places here. Snow piles didn't get pushed back far enough. Got some comments in the videos before. Um, yeah, I was not expecting to get this much snow so soon. So I guess always prepare for a worst case scenario when you're stacking your snow at the beginning of the season. Lesson learned. Hopefully this doesn't happen again quite like this next year. I think we got probably over a foot of snow in the snowstorm. Absolutely crazy. Windrow this off here. Hit her with a little oomph. Some timber sliding this driveway, so I gotta be a little bit careful not to take those things out. Piles are getting huge. Wow. jobs and they've already been done but there's like still some snow on them uh, I don't know what do you do leave it So we are at our next residential here, just outside of town, currently 631, just got gas, and we are stacking her up here, holy smokes, that ain't moving. You guys have seen me plow this one before as well. plow just a little bit of it here for you and then um, I'll show you it when we're done or at least I think I will I'll try my best to remember
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out here quick and help Kettler shovel. Be on to the next one. All right, so we're doing a really long one here with the shared uh, drive here.
way down to old Big Lake now. Hit a few in between, a couple longer country, residential driveways, probably, I don't know, a couple 400 footers or something like that. So, decent runs, got stuck in one terribly bad. When was that, two nights ago? Yeah, crazy. Just got buried. My wife had to climb out the window. There was snow all the way up to the side of the door. Kind of pushed into a pile slid sideways got the plow hung up so we had to like dig out from underneath the entire plow out behind all the wheels because we we're buried four ways to i don't know what and it was terrible i mean we spent a ton of time shoveling not to mention it was one o'clock in the morning and uh, i had this hemi just screaming so Thankfully, a uh, customer didn't get mad at me. Hopefully, I didn't wake him up, but I don't know how you couldn't know with that kind of racket. She was screaming, wah, bah, 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 bah. Unreal. All right, guys, so we just shoveled off the deck, the big deck that we do, and then we snowblowed out an entire dog yard with the uh, two-stage snowblower. Finally got that thing fixed up, had a little accident with it. And uh, we're heading down the road here now to a uh, really tight driveway, one that's a little bit difficult to plow, but uh, good customers and uh, full season, so we get them for lawn too. So we try to take good care of them. Otherwise, I don't know that I'd be doing this one, but it's uh it's worth my while so i'm gonna do it got dad down there using the toro power max what a guy huh came to help us out i'm gonna jump out here and use the uh power clears over there and we're gonna clean this thing up all right guys, got her all wrapped up. Looks pretty nice. Clean lanes. Up top's all done. It's the Toro Brigade right here. All right, well, we're holding up pretty good. Got loaded up. Gonna head off to do some more residentials. Whew. Wow. Yeah.
That one's empty. I'll bring that up. I just can't get this. Oh, gotcha. somebody's house over there on fire. It's gotta be a house fire. That's massive and it smells. You can smell it from here. Wow. That's too bad. So there's a door over here, and I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm stacking snow over there. Uh, it's not really a big deal. We're gonna probably have to come in here and haul some snow out eventually. This is just a family rental unit of ours. So we're just helping the fam out a little bit here. And uh, so we're gonna get back to it. I, oh, this plow does not backtrack very well over here, but did what we could do. And uh, it's mainly just to keep the city off of our back so we're just gonna plow it out here finish her off and uh who knows maybe this place is for rent if you guys are interested in it it's in uh wait park looking for a shop um it's by safe light auto so we're gonna finish her up here and then uh, we got one more residential left and then we'll be um heading back home and then uh, this weekend is my wife's birthday, so we're hoping to do something fun for that. But uh, we'll see you guys either at the end of this one here, or uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'm not sure if I'll wrap it up here or not. Hey, what do you think of the damage out here, Kettler? Where? From start to finish on this snowstorm. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I know. This is our driveway, so I haven't touched this at all. You should grab a tape measure and see how much we got. 
Look at that. So that's the whole the whole storm right there. So I haven't moved my Chevy or our minivan since this thing started. So I just been plowing around them for now and we're gonna come out and clean our driveway up. We always do our customers first and then ours last. Unfortunately, that's kind of how it goes, but. We're just gonna leave it for the rest of the year. Yeah. It's not even gonna go anywhere. All the way down. Oh, 10 almost on the dot. Yeah, I'm guess I would would guess between ten and a foot somewhere. It all depends on which way the wind blows. Yeah, I suppose. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna wrap this one up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully, I was able to make a video for you. To be honest with you, it was pretty tough filming this one. It was kind of just go go go. It was like eleven hour route. Usually takes us like eight and a half, eight. So this was a this was a pretty bad one, but. We got it done, got through it, and uh, I'm going to get to plowing at home here. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.